when you asked kids what is the Nickelodeon tagline, they sang the mnemonic. And so we brought the mnemonic back. When we first started, we were kind of like, what do you remember Nickelodeon? And to me, it was always that mnemonic. Nick, 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 Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 Nick. The history of the Nickelodeon brand and its branding starts in 1979 with the launch of the channel. Children's programming that's fit for children. The first channel just for kids. And the real first brand project started in 1985, and that's when we had the iconic splat and the first real on-air branding for the Nickelodeon channel. The next rebrand happened in 2009, where we moved from the splat to the logo mark that you see today. And then that brings us to our latest, 2023, where we bring kind of the best of both of those together for our new brand and identity. Nickelodeon has a lot of history. One of the goals was to kind of like bring that back, create the next generation of people that consider Nickelodeon not just a, a brand, but part of their childhood. We kind of specialize in dusting off old brands. And this is one of the best brands that we can ever remember. Bringing all the things that we love and modernizing them for kids today was kind of a dream come true. We're now almost a 40 year old brand and it was an opportunity to look at three generations of Nick kids and how do we take the iconic spirit and bring that back, make it meaningful for kids today, as well as for the generations that had grown up with this brand. How do you get kids to love Nickelodeon like we all love Nickelodeon when it's bigger and when they have to seek it out? Nickelodeon's core DNA, first and foremost, is about this childlike wonder. How do we reflect the best and the mess of being a kid in everything we do. Childhood is not so perfect and Nickelodeon isn't perfect and that's what makes it amazing. It's a little bit messy. It a little bit doesn't make sense. There's some farts mixed in and they're not afraid of those things. And then we wanted to really look at the components of the identity. So orange. Let's recommit to orange. It's an incredible color that we own and let's do it and make sure we're doing it consistently across everything we do. Slime is sort of central to the brand. This campaign doesn't have slime in it, we've all failed. How do we bring slime back in? Make sure it's a core component of all of our creative going forward. Our goal there was really just to provide them tools to use it more often, allow them to pour slime, drip slime, splat slime. The brief for the identity was really about looking at the full history of everything we had done from an identity throughout the years, taking the things that were the most iconic, the most meaningful, and still had meaning today, but refreshing them in a very modern 2023 point of view. You don't want to just start making a vintage looking brand, you just lose your young generation. Our goal was to look at the Splat and think about what it did and why it was successful. Take that and, and modernize it and make a new Splat that could serve all the needs of this brand. And we created a circular grid, a set of circles offset based on the geometry of the logo. And we use those to kind of create these funky Splat shapes. And that way they can all have that common thread to make everything feel a lot more connected. Once we identified that we were gonna bring the splat back in a new way, what we realized is that the splat didn't have meaning to kids today. And so the brief to Callan was help us with the irreverence and humor and wit that is so core to our brand. Help us show kids what the splat means. We love this idea of a splat is this portal back to childhood. And we liked it being this kind of portal between that super boring normal world and then this crazy imaginative where anything can happen world of Nickelodeon. And it kind of all went back to trying to create a world that was bigger than the IP itself, using IP in a smart way, but being bigger than that and having it play a role in this world, but not be the entire world. It's really been about looking at the characters that really stood the test of time. Nickelodeon. Or the approaches that stood the test of time, and then reimagining them for kids today.
what was amazing about Nickelodeon is you never knew what you were going to get from one hour to the next. It embraced the best and mess of being a kid. For us, that's what we mainly drew back on is how do you bring all of those things that we loved about Nickelodeon back to this. Every time you went through the splat, it couldn't be anything you expected. And what was nice about that is we brought all this mixed media and mixing in some animated pieces, mixing in some live action, mixing in claymation. We brought all that back in, I think, in beautiful ways. And that's what made the campaign campaign feel really diverse and feels like it can kind of go forever. My favorite part of the response so far has been hearing from kids, hearing them tell us the creative bag. Like, I saw the ad where the kid puts his head through the splat, and so that's been really exciting. And then we're hearing from our grown-up Nick kids that Nick is back and that the Nick of their childhood, they can see it now reflected back in what they're watching.